I fucking glued some of the wig hair like underneath the wig so there's that but I'm kind of liking this pink hair I don't think it's as pretty as the blue but we needed a change girl the rest of the week it's pink pink or bust I am grabbing a coffee. I have a long drive, so I need some caffeine because I'm exhausted. And we have so much to get into, guys. So much to tell you. I don't know what this fucker in front of me is doing, but if he comes back any further, he's gonna get a nice surprise. All right, let me get this coffee. Some fucking gas, like one of my worst things to do. I hate getting gas. I don't know why it like, bothers me. So I'm at Starbucks and this guy in this like really nice little white car was not paying attention and he ran the curb in the line and then like came down on it hard and scratched you can tell he scratched his vehicle because the whole curb is white and he got out and he was like really pissed with himself when your starbucks ends up costing you a whole bunch more money than you thought <laughs> that's why it's so important to pay attention people it's so important are we loving this pink wig i'm mad because i got my nails done last week to match this and this color was out so like we had the perfect color picked but this is fine this is fine my OCD is like it's not fine it's not fine but I'm fine right we're overcoming things baby steps okay let me get this coffee and I'll return yes I will be using a fucking straw for my tea okay I always say coffee I always get tea I don't really like Starbucks coffee unless it's a white chocolate mocha but that's like fat we can't do that right now but I do drink straws, yes I do, and I don't drink, use paper ones, I hate those, like I'm sorry. Like I'll donate money. Oh my God, they're, are they paper? I don't think so. They used to be green straws. What's going on Starbucks? Like, are we going through a crisis? I need to get gas, which is one of my least favorite things to do. Literally anything in public besides going and getting a drink is my least favorite thing to do. Okay, you guys, I have so much to get into it with you. My favorite drink from Starbucks, venti iced chai, three pumps caramel. Can't do that right now because a bitch had pizza the other day. We can't waste calories on drinks. Okay, we just can't. You know, like no more fucking vodka cranberries up, bitch. No, put it down. You can get a diet soda with it. It doesn't have to taste quenching. It just has to be, it just has to have the vodka in it. Let's just be honest. But you waste so many calories in drinks. Just get some fucking diet Coke or diet spray, which honestly is fine. Like stop. I'm going in the out. Yes, I am. And I'm sorry. Like just go. Just fucking go. You can see that I want to get in. <sighs> My anxiety is high today because I have to drive. I sound like a complete bitch, but this is just me high on life and anxiety and at least we're doing it you know at least i'm not crippled at home which we're gonna get into the whole thing we have i have so much to tell you i have a story time i'm gonna do two vlogs in this if it's kind of like whatever until we get there <gasps> bear with me let me get gas mm. it is super fucking windy out there <gasps> i'll have you know my wig did not fly ladies it did not fly usually i just like clip it under my like cap and then sometimes if it gets windy i'm like oh lord Everyone's gonna see my cap. Everyone's gonna see my scalp. Everyone's gonna know it's fake. And actually, like, obviously this is a wig, but like a lot of people don't know. I think it's because it's not as like high topped. Although some, oh God, this stinks, this fucking sanitizer. Some wonderful lady wrote on my, one of my YouTube shorts that I can make my higher top wigs look more natural by fucking with them a little bit. Oh, that was not the right angle. Which I'm going to do. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Like, what the hell? But I was so happy that she mentioned that. Because a lot of my longer black ones, which, you know, that's like my vibe is long black hair, are high top like that. So, we're going to have to do some research. And I hate fucking with shit because I'm just, like, not good with it. And it makes me nervous. But, like, a bitch has got to learn. Like, we got to get over things. This new chapter in our life is called starting over with our phobias getting past things getting through things instead of just talking about them okay do we like this better than the blue i don't think so but it's, it's kind of cool right we're gonna start with a story time 
Let me get all caffeinated and more anxious. Fuck you for going so slow, bitch. Like, move along. I don't understand why people have to be so fucking, like... If you want to go that slow, strap yourself on a turtle and just enjoy the ride. Like, you are in a car, okay? You can't go under, under, under the speed limit in any lane. You're just rude. You might as well walk, okay? Get a camel. Do something else. Okay. Stop. I have a crazy story time for you that I want to tell you. Something that happened to me last week. So yesterday's vlog or whatever vlog is before this happened after. So we're just kind of all mixed up here and that's just kind of like life right now. I'm just telling you some stories, okay? And then I might do another vlog. So if you see me looking like this in another one, bitch, it's the same day, okay? And I showered, so. All right, so last week on Monday, I drove to Chicago, like I'm doing now, to go see Bo, and I got there, and the whole point for me to go was so we could reconnect, where I was reconnecting, spend some quality time together, sit in the hot tub, like, work out, whatever. I was feeling really good about myself last week because I was walking, doing a lot more steps, and feeling better about myself, and eating better because I was happier. And then just like, ugh. anyway. And it's super, super, super fucking hot. But I'm like, well, let's go for a walk. I don't want to sit in the fucking car for three hours and then sit in a fucking hotel room. Like, let's go for a walk and unwind a little bit. So we did. I was drenched in fucking sweat. It was horrendous. So we came back, took a shower. I'm like, well, you know, I really want, would like to sit in the hot tub. But unfortunately, there were two baseball teams worth of like little boys that just checked into the hotel. Now, we stayed at a really nice place. The Holiday Inn there is actually like really nice. They have a really nice pool. It's smack dab in the middle of a very busy area. And it's packed for Ramadan always. And then it's sports teams always. So it's never like quiet really. And we had a poolside room. So it was fucking loud because all of the boys were in the pool. And I don't know. Like how is that relaxing? Like no. Fine though. So whatever. So we decided to walk to this cute little bar, uh, like a block and a half away, and we had a few drinks, and we just like talked, and it was fine. Took some pictures, like it was, it was good. And then walked back at an early time. I wanted to get to bed early because we were supposed to go to the beach the next day. And Bo gets up like super, super early on Monday mornings to head to Chicago, so he was tired, right? So we get to the hotel. It's still so fucking loud. I mean, you couldn't even like watch TV in the room. It was so loud because it was poolside. So I'm like, well, fuck it. Let's just go and get in the hot tub anyway. That's what we're here for. Let's go relax. I'm tense from driving. I'm sure you're tense from work. Like, let's just do it. So like I said, we've, we had had a couple drinks and it wasn't as annoying, you know, as it would be sober. So we go in the hot tub it's horrendous because I told you like little snot nosed brats were in the in the pool with goggles and they were like picking their nose and splashing around and their parents were like turning their heads and like were staring off into space trying to pretend that they didn't have kids there I'm sure because they didn't want to have to take responsibility for them which is fucking bullshit if your kid wants to splash around go to the fucking pool like, there are other adults in here that don't have snot nose little shits that would like to relax. My kids would never act like that. It's just rude. And if you're sitting there watching it, like, like I said in my YouTube short, I should stick my finger up my nose, pick out a booger, and put it on your forehead. Okay? Because it's, it's that disgusting to me. So we didn't last long, needless to say. And Bo and I are the type of people that after push for a little while, we, we might say something. And not that it'll necessarily be mean, but it'll be very, like, wow. You know, like, the truth. And that hurts a lot of people, sadly. A lot of people are snowflakes and can't handle, like, apparently we have to just teach everybody some proper etiquette. So, I'm like, well, let's just get out. Because he was to that point, and I was to that point, and it wasn't even fun anymore anyway. So, whatever. So, we get out, and we decide that we're going to go maybe, like, we're not smokers, but we wanted to go, like, have a cigarette outside. And it, smoking is disgusting. Personally, I don't like it. I don't care if you do it. Whatever. It's your lungs. I think, I, I understand the act of smoking for anxiety. Like, I get that. 
the smell and I can't inhale actually anyway so when I smoke it's like a joke because it's very obvious I don't know how to inhale and I don't want to learn like well what do I want to ruin my lungs for anyway we're sitting out there it has to be the right vibe everything has to have a vibe but we're just talking we ended up sitting out there for like two hours it was like seven o'clock when we went out there and we were talking about like life and religion and conspiracy theories and spirituality all kinds of shit that we usually don't get to talk about because one you have to be in the right mood I'm gonna sneeze of course <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me again fucking every time I vlog it's the only time I sneeze because life wants to play me so we're sitting out there we're having fun two hours goes by I'm like babe we should probably you know go in and get some rest you've got to be exhausted it's like 9 30 so we go in and he takes a sleeping pill the fucking kids in the pool were still really loud it was like almost 10 o'clock he's like well it's still like bad like let's just go have another cigarette and then I hadn't eaten because I like been really trying to watch it although this week went to shit really this, this is the first part of this week but you know what we're all like trying right every day is a new day so whatever I'm like well let's just grab a couple of like little bags of chips just in case like you know we need a little snack I didn't want to eat this big fucking disgusting greasy meal after sitting in my car all day so we didn't eat anything we're outside I can tell Bo's sleeping pill is like about to kick in I'm like okay we need to get inside because that's you know dangerous obviously he like gets up we're, we're in the parking lot so it's like not a big deal right he's walking towards the door and I can kind of see him like fall backwards it was almost like in the scary movies where like a ghost takes you from your waist from behind you like backwards you know like a reverse whatever and so I grab him I'm like are you okay he's like yeah I'm fine I'm fine I'm you know whatever I can tell he he wasn't but we're like I said right there so I grab him pick him back up we're walking I'm thinking everything's okay we're right by the building there's a couple cops outside some shit was going on there's always security like it's just like a busy area I go to look towards the door and it happened in a split second I look away for a split second and Bo has fallen he's behind me he fell must have fell forwards I didn't see him fall I just remember hearing everyone go ah, and I looked down and he had fallen and hit the stone on the building all the different jagged stone and knocked himself out I don't know if he fell asleep I don't know if whatever and then he knocked he knocked himself out hit his head right here and he's got a couple like scrapes I freaked the fuck out. I freaked the fuck out because there was so much blood and he wasn't like responding. So the cops are there. The police station's literally next door. So they called an ambulance. The ambulance was like literally there within one minute, like one minute, which was amazing. And I'm like, oh my God, you got to let me in. That's my husband. Like I was really fucking scared. And they're like, no, we can't let you in here. I'm like, well, I'm going to jump in. That's my fucking husband. Like the fuck you're not. And the police officer was like, ma'am, I'll drive you. I'll drive you there. So I was happy with that because it was a ways and I was like distraught. Because I didn't know if he was okay or not. Like it looked really bad. But it was a bleeder. Like he's a bleeder. He's always been a bleeder. And I think it's because of all, all the alcohol that he was drinking. Like it's a blood thinner. If this bow is just fine. He didn't even have a concussion. But it, it looked really fucking scary. Get to the hospital. I had told them, you know, just briefly what had happened, like, before. They put him through a CT scan. I'm, like, sobbing my eyes out, worried about Bo, distraught. I didn't want him to go anywhere without me. I was, like, scared. I didn't know if he was going to die. Like, it looked so bad. It looked so fucking bad. Blood everywhere. There's blood all over me. Everyone was, like, because I, like, tried to, like, you know, I'm, like, oh, are you okay? Like, it was just, it was traumatic. And everything happened so fast. I was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, this is not my blood. I'm sitting in the ER. Like, the cops are talking to me. The security of the hospital is talking to me. They didn't want to actually let me in the ER room because they still have some policies for, well, head trauma and then for COVID. And I'm like, I'm not moving. Like, I am not moving. I will sit off to the side. 
you know, like that's my husband. I'm fucking sitting here. Like everyone else is like spouse from the dawn of time is in the hospital with them. Like I'm not, that's my husband. I'm not fucking, he'll be pissed if I'm not here when he wakes up. Like I'm going to be here for him. Like I have to know what's going on. So finally, like the head doctor was like, she's, she's fine. Just leave her alone. Sitting there. I'm sobbing my eyes out, waiting for Bo to come back from his CT. Everything was normal. He was absolutely fine. They just have to do that, which I'm thankful for, but he did need three staples and it's like up here in his hair. He actually took him out of himself yesterday and said it wasn't painful, but it looked worse than it was. He's passed out. They want to wait until his sleeping pill has worn off because they want to make sure he can up and walking around and that everything seems to be okay. Bo was out for, I don't know, four or five hours. And at this time, like I'm sitting there, I'm worrying about him, I'm crying, I'm seeing he's in pain in his sleep. Like he was just kind of like, uh, and they had a neck brace on him. And in his sleep, he was like trying to rip it off because I'm sure it's uncomfortable. I've had those on before, they're terrible. So I crawled into bed with him and I was like tickling his chest and whispering in his ear that he's gonna be okay and I love him. And then, you know, we're gonna get through this and all kinds of stuff. And the doctor at one time had come in and like made sure I had blankets and stuff and a pillow because my back was like up against the metal thing. Like he was, they were so fucking nice to us. Finally, it's like four o'clock in the morning and we both had to work the next day. And I know that Bo had, would have to at least call his work or do something if he wasn't gonna make it in. So I'm like, babe, like it had been a while. I'm like, baby, you know, I'm trying to gently wake him up. I'm like, you know, it's time to wake up. Also, they were like getting a little bit like, okay, like we gotta get these people out of here. It wasn't an emergency any longer, you know? He wakes up, he's okay, surprisingly. He's like, I gotta pee. And I'm like, uh, I think maybe, maybe you should just like wake up a second. He's like, no, I gotta fucking pee. So he gets up and the nurse is like, not ready for him to do that. And he's in his gown and I'm like chasing him out there too. Cause I don't want him to fall again. And the nurse is like helping him or whatever. And so he goes to the bathroom. The doctor comes in, asks Bo if he's feeling okay. He was, but he wanted to give it like 20 minutes of waking up and then make sure he could walk around again to see how he was. And he was fine. He was absolutely fine obviously in pain they cleaned them all up actually there there you can't really tell for as much blood as there was like his face isn't bad you know I mean there's a lot of nerves up here and shit but it was like I thought he fucking cracked his head open knew that was it it was so much blood but again alcohol thins your blood thank god because I I don't know I just I can't even imagine it was just so fucking bad the doctor we didn't drive there obviously the doctor called us an Uber personally to get us back to our hotel room at like 4.30 in the morning. And that was so nice because they didn't have to do that. Like we obviously could have called an Uber ourselves, but like they took care of it for us. And it was so nice because the doctor like looked at Bo and was like, you have an amazing woman here. She was amazing the whole time. I haven't seen a spouse act like this in so long and it was very wonderful to see. And it made me feel so good because I, in my opinion, I didn't really do anything special. I was worried genuinely about him and I wasn't going to let him be alone. I wanted to comfort him and I know I couldn't comfort him. What am I going to do? I like to tickle him and whisper in his ear and they, they were all like in there while I was doing that. Like I could care less. Like if this was the last time I talked to my husband, like I'm going to, I'm going to be talking to him. Okay. Like he's still with me because in the moment I still didn't really know, you know, I was waiting for the CT results and everything. And I just felt, cause we've been through so much shit together and I just wanted him to know that no matter what you know my peace uh, things that should be said anyway like people should be good anyway like obviously Bo is fine and he was fine and I might have been a little dramatic but like when things look bad some, sometimes everybody you don't fucking know but people should apologize and be good to each other while they're fucking living and, and having good moments so that was all before my last fucking video. Anyway, so that made me feel good, but Bo doesn't remember it, <laughs> sadly. He did go to work that day. I worked that day too. In hindsight, he probably shouldn't have, but he, he was okay. He didn't have a concussion or anything, but I, and he did get a good night's sleep. Well, I wouldn't say good night, but he did rest. So uh, he, you know, he said he was okay to go to work, and it was a brutal hot day, and his sciatic nerve was crazy when he got back from the 
from work when he got back to the hotel like he could hardly move his back and he said that's where the majority of his pain was and so I wanted us to have just a very quiet low-key night because I didn't want you know he, he could hardly move but he's the type of guy that's like well if I'm in pain here it doesn't matter if I'm in pain here or somewhere somewhere else like let's go have dinner which we just stayed in the hotel and had like a burger we just sat there and then went to bed very very early like 7 30 he needed rest the next day he was moving around just fine it was like he had a little bit of head pain headache whatever but he he still wanted to try to go to the beach which was a fucking disaster the beach, the lake in chicago is gorgeous but the, the beach especially where we went was not very pretty and it was like smack dab in the middle of low-income housing so there was like glass everywhere. It was just not, I'm like, no. And it was windy and cold. I'm like, this is just not it. I don't even feel safe here. I don't want my Suburban parked over there. It's, it's insane. That's the kind of type of shit you read on Reddit. Have you ever gotten on Reddit for whatever reason and just read, like you could get lost on Reddit. And a lot of times I will read like sleeping pill stories or like whatever stories, like crazy stories. And I found that they have a YouTube channel now, which I'd rather watch something than read it. But I find myself doing that when I have panic attacks. I like to read what other people do for their anxiety and depression and just, cause you're desperate for any kind of like help. You know what I mean? You're desperate for anything that'll work, even if it sounds kooky or whatever. And so I'm always on Reddit. This is one of those things. Although I'm not gonna be writing this story on Reddit. And yes, I had his permission to tell you this story, so. I just thought I'd come on here and tell you that. I recorded it last week, but it was just, I looked like shit, I felt like shit, and I didn't tell it, I don't think as well. So I wanted to get on here and remake that video because it was insane, it was insane. So happy he's okay. I'm actually headed to Chicago right now. We're gonna go have dinner. You guys saw that vlog, What, what if you saw that vlog the time before this, that we just had a really bad, weekend just shit was not I don't know we're always going through something and he and I really got to make some changes it's just to that point I think the communication is very poor he says he doesn't mean to come across that way and I I think we're both very misunderstood I don't know I don't know what it is but he wanted me to come today to go on a, like a little date night, have dinner, and usually I would never, I'd come, well he wanted me to come Monday, but I just, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, and I had to work and stuff, and you, I just, I, it, whatever, I'm not even going to get into it because that's just not this vlog's thing, but I'm headed there now, and we'll see what happens, but I just wanted to come on here and tell you that story time, so I just went like this, and I like pulled a muscle, that's how you know you're getting old, so. All right, guys, I'm just jabbering at this point. I love you, and I will see you all in the next one, probably in five minutes. Bye.